Today there are Judaizers like Seventh-day Adventists who say we should only worship God on a Saturday Sabbath in keeping with the Law of Moses. Ignore such talk. The Law of Moses is gone. Jesus is our Sabbath rest now. Days are neutral. You are free to worship God on any day you like under the Law of Christ. The early church were so driven by love that they actually met every day of the week. In Acts 2.46 it says, They worshipped together at the temple every day, met in homes for the Lord's Supper and shared their meals with great joy and generosity. They wanted to hang out as often as they could and share generously their time and food with one another. See the mindset change again here. Let's not do the minimum requirement. Let's not ask what we can get away with. Let's use our freedom to be extravagant, authentic and spontaneous with our love for one another. Love has no limits and boundaries. We don't have to meet every day. There are no rules on such things, no liturgy, but because we love each other, we want to. Now, it's true that Acts records the apostles going to the synagogue on Saturday, but that was because they knew that's where the crowds would be on that day and it would be a good chance to evangelize. Acts 17.2 says, As was Paul's custom, he went to the synagogue service and for three Sabbaths in a row, he used the scriptures to reason with the people. This is what Paul did. He worked out where the crowds would be, then he went there with the gospel. On a Saturday Sabbath, the synagogue is where the Jewish crowds would be, so that's where he went. Paul explains this evangelism technique later on saying, When I was with the Jews, I lived like a Jew to bring the Jews to Christ. Even though I am not subject to the law, I did this so I could bring to Christ those who are under the law. Paul wasn't going to the synagogue on the Sabbath because he felt constrained by the Sabbath law himself. He was going to the synagogue on the Sabbath to help those in bondage to the law to be free of it. In fact, the only time the Sabbath is mentioned in the New Testament from Acts all the way through to Revelation is in this context of evangelism. The apostles went to the synagogue to evangelize to the Jews to help them to be free of the law. And once Paul states, from now on I will go to the Gentiles in Acts 18.6, the Sabbath is never again mentioned in the entire New Testament. Instead, the rest of the epistles teach the opposite, that there are no longer constraints to Saturday. Now, Adventists and other legalists will often try to frame this debate in Saturday versus Sunday terms, believing that those who worship on Sunday have been perverted and deceived by a subversive edict from the Roman Emperor Constantine. This is a false framework for the argument that shows a complete lack of understanding of the freedom we now have in Christ. The truth is that while Christians generally do worship on a Sunday, we could just as easily worship on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday or Saturday. They would all be perfectly acceptable to God. We're not enslaved to Sunday any more than we're enslaved to Saturday. We have been freed from laws on all such things. So instead we can and should worship any day, either day, all day, every day. Again, we have been freed from all rules on such things. Just do what you do as unto the Lord and from the heart because you love him. That's all. Paul wrote, Some think one day is more holy than another day, while others think every day is alike. You should each be fully convinced that whichever day you choose is acceptable. Those who worship the Lord on a special day do it to honour him. In other words, as long as you're fully convinced and have a clear conscience, then go for it. Now whenever Jesus appears to his disciples in resurrection form and the day is mentioned in the Bible, it is a Sunday. That's in Matthew 28, 1, Mark 16, 9, Luke 24, 1 and John 20, 19. It should also be noted that the Bible records the disciples meeting together on a Sunday in 1 Corinthians 16, 1-2 and Acts 27. So the idea that meeting on a Sunday is wrong is easily disproved by the Bible. However, a Sunday Sabbath is actually as unscriptural as a Saturday Sabbath. The whole Sabbath concept was part of the Old Testament law and Christians are free from the bondage of the law. We are free from laws on times and seasons and days and years. Constantine's role is actually almost irrelevant. He could have designated any day of the week for worship and Christians would have been perfectly at liberty to worship on that day, just as they are at liberty to worship every day of the week. There is no truth to the fanciful claim that by meeting on a Sunday, Christians are automatically worshipping the pagan sun god, any more than worshipping on a Saturday would cause us to be worshipping Saturn, or worshipping on Thursday would cause us to be worshipping Thor, after whom those days are named. 
Forgive me for being repetitive, but the truth is, if you want to love God by meeting on a Saturday, then do it. If you want to do it by meeting on a Sunday, then do that. If you want to do it every day, then all the better. As Paul says, just be fully convinced in your own mind about what you do and worship him freely. With regard to neutral issues like these, what matters is your motivation. God looks at your heart. Don't be legalistic and set rules about such things. Meet as often as possible and share all good things generously with one another. That is the mindset change. That is the freedom to love that you now have in Christ.